What's up guys, it's Wesley. I'm here at the Alley at Wichita, Kansas, and I got a brand new ball review for you on the Hammer Orange Vibe. The vibes have been like a staple of my arsenal. I had a 12 pound red vibe. I thought that was the best ball ever. I had a black onyx vibe, whatever it was called. I think they were awesome. This new orange vibe I'm kind of excited about because I've heard a lot of great things about it and I haven't thrown one yet. So I'm kind of excited to see what this one's gonna do. For anyone who likes the technicality or wants to know the numbers of my bowling ball, I use the 45 by five by 45 layout on this orange vibe. So I'm gonna throw some shots right now and I'll tell you what I think about it. The first thing I notice is the ball coming off the break plate. And I don't really like to get the, you know, angular hook in the back part of the lane, but throwing this ball, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So when it came off the friction around 7, 8, 9 at 42 feet, it was pretty responsive, and that's good, because I need a clean ball that's responsive to friction that also stores energy. So I was actually pretty satisfied with that. Typically for myself, though, I don't really throw this ball on the fresh, or even on a fresh house shot, because I think they're too clean and not responsive. And that's the one thing I noticed, is that I kind of plaque 7, or I like swishered 7, 10, because the ball came behind the head pin, which I don't really look for. I want my ball to read a little earlier and control the pocket a little better, but this one didn't do it. No discredit to this bowling ball, it's just that's how it was right now on this fresh house shot. If I could go back, what I'd probably do differently is I'd probably knock the shine off the ball, put up maybe like 2,000, and hopefully the ball would hook a little sooner. But overall, I think this ball is perfect for later on the house shot when people break down the pattern, and then you start having to creep further and further left if you're right-handed, and further and further right if you're left-handed. And for a sports shot, you know, those patterns are about 39 feet or longer. It'll be great later in the day because when you have a little friction spot at 10 and you can throw it to there, but you need a ball that's clean through the fronts because of all the breakdown, I also think this will be a great ball for that time. I'm not disappointed in this ball, but for now, that's my review. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, like this video, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Hopefully I got more engaging stuff for you guys, but let's see. Till then, bye.